In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the WP Optimize plugin to optimize your database with a single click. And you can even schedule your optimization on a weekly or bi-weekly or monthly basis if you want to. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and optimize your database. I'll see you there. The first thing we have to do is install the WP Optimize plugin. So we're going to head over to Plugins and then Add New, then search for WP Optimize. The one we want is called WP Optimize, and it has a lot of installs five out of five stars for the rating. So it's a pretty cool plugin, works really well. People like it a lot. And like with most plugins, if you wanna be really safe, back up your database, back up your site files. I've got links down below to help you do that. When you're ready, click on install now and then activate. Now that's activated, we have a new menu item on the left-hand side called WP Optimize, click on that. And now we have on this first page, all the settings we can choose for optimizing your database. So the first one, optimize database tables, just goes and optimizes the tables. Uh, the reason you want to do this, just to cover that again, installing and deleting plugins, installing, deleting themes, changing settings, all these things can leave remnants inside of your database. So the optimization process helps clear out those remnants that aren't being used and helps your database run better because you've cleaned it out. So here we have tables to be optimized. 78 is how many tables to be optimized on this website. 78 tables sounds like a lot, and it is, because the regular WordPress installer, I believe, is 11 tables. The reason it's so many is this is my demo site, so I install and delete and reinstall a lot of plugins and a lot of themes, because I use this site to do all of the YouTube videos, and a lot of stuff is left over that needs to be cleaned out. Clean post revisions, 237. You probably have many more, because if you have a site that publishes lots of content, you probably have many more post revisions. That's not really a focus on this site, posting content. Clean all auto drafts and trash posts, self-explanatory. When you're typing, WordPress automatically saves your post as you go. So if the site crashes or your internet fails, this, the post is saved. So you have to redo your work. And in the trash can, you might have a bunch of posts in there too. Usually they're there for 30 days. After that, they're deleted. But if you had trashed 200 of them yesterday, those would all be in there and you can optimize them with this plugin. Remove spam and trash comments, self-explanatory. Remove unapproved comments, also self-explanatory. So these red ones down here, they're a little more dangerous. It has a warning down at the bottom. If you run these optimizations and for whatever reason your database crashes or is powered down by the server, it can cause serious problems for your database and you may lose data. So if you choose any of these options, make sure you back up your database because when something goes sideways, nothing feels better than knowing you have a backup that you can revert to and nothing feels worse knowing that you don't have a backup to revert to and you have to redo a ton of work. So I'm gonna check all of these because I've backed up my database. And then I'm gonna click on run optimization up here. Down here on the right hand side, you can run each one individually as you go if you want. But we're gonna run all of these because it's our first time using it. So I'm just gonna click on run all selected optimizations and I will pause this video and come back when these are all done. And we're back, optimization is done. On the right hand side, it shows some statistics for the database. Current database size is 4.5 megabytes. That cleanup we just did removed 1.3 megabytes. So almost a fifth of the database size has been optimized and removed, which will inevitably make the database run better. You might not see major improvements on your site speed or anything, but at least your database is clean, which helps a lot. So we had no problems either running these red ones. We didn't crash, so all our data is still there. Everything's still safe. Now after you run the optimization, if you like that, you can actually go into settings and then schedule it. So in our general settings, this first checkbox, this allows us to keep a certain amount of data in the database because all the entries in the database have a timestamp. And with the default setting has two weeks of data here. So that means if you delete it today, if you optimize today, everything from the previous two weeks will not be removed, but beyond two weeks, it will be removed. So if you want to keep data, recent data for whatever reason, you can always keep this activated or even put that down to one week. I don't know if you can do 0.5 weeks. I'm not sure, but you can try it. But if you put that, if you put this down to one week and you check the auto clean settings and you run that on a weekly schedule, that means you'll always have the most recent week and your database will always be automatically optimized. 
So in a weekly schedule, you can optimize database tables, remove auto revisions, remove auto drafts and trash posts, remove spam and trash comments, remove unapproved comments, remove expired transients, much like we had the options on the other side. However, you'll notice the red options are not on here. At least not all of them. So let's go back and double check. The transients is red, but the pingbacks, trackbacks, metadata, comment, orphaned, relationship data, those aren't on there. So we, well actually the comments are, but has much fewer red options. So if you're worried about the database crashing when this is done automatically, just don't check these bottom two. Keep all the others checked. Those should be safe to run. And if you have a backup plugin that also backs up on a weekly schedule, you shouldn't have any issues because you always have a backup. On the right-hand side, this first option here allows you to disable trackbacks. If you don't know what they are, that's basically when someone links to a page, that page in WordPress is notified there's a link and it can automatically add it in the comment section, which can be really annoying. So if you don't want that to happen, click on disable. And if you want to disable the comments, you can just click on disable to disable those as well. I don't know why you would disable comments because interaction on your website is good, but you do have the option to do that here if you want to. And then really quickly under table information, it lists all the tables in the database. So it has all 78 that were listed earlier and the plugin's gone through and removed all the stuff that was junky and not required anymore. So we saved a lot of space, but here we can see all 78 tables and even what they're associated with. So this one right here is clearly for WooCommerce. All of these are, there's, here's a membership plugin. All these tables are for that. BB Press. All of those. So a lot of these tables come from specific plugins I've installed in the past or currently am running on this website. So instead of logging into your PHP My Admin, you can get a quick snapshot of your plugins here, which is pretty handy. That's how easy it is to use WP Optimize to optimize your database. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.